Greetings, I'm the physician here to tell you a wonderful tale. As I once heard from the famous historian Titus Livius, there was a knight called Virginius who lived in Rome. He had a beautiful and pure daughter named Virginia that Mother Nature had blessed with extreme beauty and modesty. She was so perfect that Pygmalion's sculpture couldn't compete with her. Her skin was so flawless that Apelles and Zexus, famous painters, couldn't create paintings that can compete with it. Virginia's hair was such a rich blonde that only Phoebus could have dyed it. In other words, she was really hot. Oh my! Who is this fair girl that keeps strutting across the street? She is the most beautiful thing that I have ever seen. I must have her no matter what anyone says. She is perfect and moral, but I can never get her to do anything wrong. I need help. I need a creepy goon to do my bidding. I know. I'll get Claudius to help me. He's bold, cunning, and best of all, he'll do anything. Claudius! Claudius, where are you? Claudius. Ah, there you are. Claudius, I need your help. I really, really like Virginia, and I want to go out with her. I need your help to come up with a plan to help get her to be mine. What's up, man? I have a little, um, task for me to do. Of course, for anything to work, we need a very complex and brilliant plan. I know, Appius, you're not that smart, so the thinking to me. What do you mean, not smart? I'm a genius. And besides, if you tell anyone about my desire for Virginia, it will be your head. Remember, I am a judge, and I have the power to convict you. Whatever. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to accuse Virginia of stealing my young, beautiful servant. You will be the judge in this mock case, unless for Virginia to be present. When he shows up, I will claim that Virginia is my servant, and you will decide for him to give her back. After that, when you pay my money, I will hand her over to you, and you can do with her what you want. This plan is brilliant. It's perfect. There's no way that it can fail. Let's go set it into motion. Judge, Judge, I have a case to bring to you against Virginius. He has something that belongs to me and I require justice. Well, before I can judge, Virginius must be present. So go and get him and we can continue this trial. Your Honor, this man right here is still my maidservant. As the law requires, he must return her and pay the consequences. What? That's baloney. Virginia is no servant. She's my daughter, and I will never give her over to you. Virginius, I can tell when a man is lying. Hand over Claudius' servant immediately and leave my courtroom. Court adjourned. Virginia, could you please come here? I need to <clears throat> talk to you. Hold on a minute. I'm texting my friends about last night's party. No. I need to speak with you now. Come here. Yes, Daddy? What do you need from me? Uh, I need to behead you. It's only because I love you. Okay. Why do you need to do that? I promise I didn't do anything at last night's party. Please don't do this. I must do this. I have been ordered by the court to hand you over to Claudius. He claims that you are his servant, but I smell a rat. I really think he has other plans for you. I actually think the judge, Appius, is in on it too. He wants you, if you know what I mean. You have only two options. Die or disgrace the family name forever. I can't let you disgrace me, so we only have one option. Is it the only way? I don't want to die, Daddy. I'm too young and pretty. Yeah, it's the only way. We'll pretend it's a game. I'm Jephthah, and you're his daughter. It'll be great. Well, if we put it that way, I guess I'll agree. Just been gently dislodging my head. I lay my head down for your honor. Goodbye, sweet pea. I love you. See you in heaven. Here, Claudius. Here's your servant. You killed her? You must be severely dealt with. I agree. You must be hanged immediately. Guards, seize Virginius and take him to the gallows now. I will not let this evil man stay in the streets. No! 
We know that Virginius is noble and righteous. We will not let you murder him. Claudius is a fake, and so are you. We will throw you into prison and kill Claudius. My good people, thank you for saving my life. I know you want what is just, but I will not let you murder him. Instead, he is to be exiled forever. Beat it, doofus. If you ever think about coming back, you will be killed. I cannot live in this evil dungeon. I can't stay. The only option I have is to kill myself. Goodbye, world. Hope you liked my little story. I've been working hard on it for a while. The moral of the story is, don't deceive people, because God knows what's in your heart. He will always bring you justice. <laughs>